Alright guys, Jay Prada Performance here. This is a very common question. I'm always asking this question and probably 50% of people don't know the answer. So I always ask, you know, if they're wanting to buy a valve body for a C6, do you have the detent in the case or in the valve body? And I think a lot of people don't even know what a detent means. So let's go over this real quick. This here is a, so there's two different styles. Uh, this is a 1972 and up, uh, 1966 to roughly 1971 had a different style. So what the detent is, is if you see, I'm going to move the shift lever. I know it's loud in here today, but if you hear those clicks and it uh, holds it in position, those are detents, okay? Now, this one, this is most common. I'm going to try to show down in here. If you see this, this is a, it's a flat spring, and it's got a roller on the end of it. And then this is a, like a rooster comb. Look, you can't see it from this angle, but it's got little notches for the roller to ride in and that's what positions the shift arm and in turn positions the manual select lever on the valve body. So this is 1972 and up, uh, detent in case. Okay, this is most common. Now, um, and just show you here, this is the late model valve body. This manual select lever, it just slides. Okay. Now, early style, didn't have any of that in the case. And if you see here, it had these notches on the manual select valve. And in this tower here, there's a spring and a plunger in there that engages in each of these. So this is where your detent is. So also what happens to people sometimes is maybe they used to have one of these valve bodies and then they buy one that's like this and now you know you know where it just floats and now they no longer have any way to position it and align their shifter so you have to be careful of that uh, this style will fit in any year model but what you got to do or should do is remove this screw and take this piece out and some of the other you know some some of the aftermarket valve bodies somehow I don't know how they get in the cores but they always seem to use the early model valve body with the detent in it uh, those are getting really hard to find and um, if you go and buy one of these after well then you're you know you've got a mess on your hands so what I also tell people to check as well is say they're getting a new valve body and they had this style here, the early style with the detent go ahead and check your case okay you can see the screw here so there'll be a tap hole here if this was just taken out but it still has a provisions for it there'll be a tap hole here and then there's just a little hole here that aligns this tab uh, if you still have those two holes there, all you need to get is this flat spring and uh, screw this back into the case. And that's also assuming that this still has the rooster comb on it. And that's important there because uh, the early models didn't have the notches for this little spring and roller to pop into. Uh, let me see if I can find one of those real quick and show it to you. Uh, so, okay, let me, let me go find that. Alright, here we go. So, this is the spring and roller removed. You see the little roller here. And this, it rides into these grooves. Okay. This is the early model one. It doesn't have that rooster comb on it. So this would do you no good. 
unless you also swap this piece. So, late model, 1972 and up, detent in case, and then this here, early model, 1966 to 1971, it's got the detents on the manual select valve itself. So this valve does not, um, it'll, it'll push in, but you kind of have to tap it. It stays in place on its own, so it doesn't float. Now, another thing you can do is sometimes you can remove this. There's a roll pin here, and there's a spring under here and a plunger. And you can take this assembly out and you can put it into a late model valve body, but this one here, see how this is flat here? It doesn't have this tower on it anymore. So I think around 1980, they took the tower off, so you can't swap the manual select, um, I'm sorry, the manual select valve on that one. It still has to have this tower. Uh, but a lot of them had the tower and had the floating style valve. And if it does, you can just take this assembly out, put it in the late model one, then you don't need the uh, detent in the case. So, alright, I hope that clears this up. This is something I get a lot of questions on and it seems to confuse a lot of people. So, alright, thanks for watching guys.